morning, boys and girls. Today, our Bible story is called The Wool Fleece. And it is about Gideon. And it's from the Old Testament. It's from Judges chapter 6. And in our Bible story today, God's people had forgot that the Lord was taking care of them. They didn't love God with all their heart, and they worshiped other gods. And because they disobeyed God, they had become weak, not strong, and they were afraid, not brave. Well, every year, enemy soldiers kept coming in to their land. And do you know what those enemy soldiers did? They would get all of their food and they would get all of their animals and they took everything from God's people. Well, then God's people cried out to God and God heard their prayers and the angel of the Lord came down and sat under an oak tree. And if you want to look in your Bible story book, you can look on page 164 and 165, and you will see what I'm talking about. 164 and 165. And that um, angel came down there and sat under that oak tree. And the angel was watching while a young man named Gideon was harvesting wheat out of a field. And do you know what Gideon was doing with that wheat? When he would harvest it, he would take it and he would hide it so that the enemies could not come and steal it later. And so that angel said to Gideon, The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. I have called you to do a special job. I'm sending you to save God's people from the enemies. Gideon said, Oh, our people are weak. We are not strong. We cannot defeat an army. And the angel said again, Yes, God has called you. He will help you defeat them. If you want to look in your Bible story picture, you can see it right there on the inside. Or look in your Bible story book. And Gideon said, Well, if God has really called me to be a warrior, and to do this job, please show me a sign. So Gideon put some food on a rock. He just set it on the rock. And then the angel touched that food with a walking stick. And poof, fire just broke out and burned up all the food that was on that rock. And God knew or Gideon knew that God had called him to fight. Well, on that day, God gave Gideon a special power, and God sent a message to um, all of God's people, and many good soldiers came to help Gideon fight against the enemy. But Gideon wanted to make sure that God had really, really, really called him to fight. So do you know what Gideon did? He took a piece of fleece, like off of a sheep probably. We're going to let this wash rag be our fleece. And he said, Lord, tonight I am putting this fleece on the ground. And in the morning, if the wool is wet and all the ground around it is dry, then I will know that you want me to do this job. So sure enough, in the morning, the wool was so wet that he could take it and squeeze water out and water could go down into a bowl. But all the ground around it was dry as dry could be. But Gideon said the, that day, God, I want to be very, very sure that you want me to do this job. So I'm going to set this fleece out one more time. 
And in the morning, I if you, the fleece is dry and the ground is wet, I will surely know that you want me to do this job. So sure enough, Gideon put out the fleece, went to sleep. In the morning, he woke up and the fleece was as dry as dry could be. But all around the fleece, on the ground, the ground was as wet as could be. And he said, I know that you've called me to do this special job. And he did. All right, that is our Bible story about Gideon. Do you remember the verse that we talked about last week from Judges? That's kind of like what uh, Gideon did. He said that he knew that God was going to help him. Our verse said from Judges 6, 16 said, God said, I will help you. Can you say that with me? God said, I will help you. Let's do it again. God said, I will help you. Great. That's a good verse to remember. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this time that we can learn about Gideon and help us to know how we can serve you every day. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, in our other story today, Paul, and there's Paul right there in the middle, he does not think that he is very important. Paul's brother, Mike and Mark, I think that is Mike outside already. And, well, there's Mark and his sister Susan too. So, anyway, Paul's brother said, Come on, Mark, we have to go. We're going to be late. I'm coming, Mark said, and he had his guitar up under his arm, and he and his brother were headed to their youth group. You see, there were teenagers, and so in their youth group, Mark played the guitar while all the kids sing, and then Mike, the brother, did the Bible story, and they studied from the Bible. And um, so Paul said, see you later. And then about that time, Susan came and she said, I got to go. I've got volleyball practice, so I've got to get to the volleyball game. And if you look on there, you can see there Susan is with her volleyball. And you can see Mike and Mark ready to go to youth group. Well, when his brothers and sisters had gone, Paul stood at the window and he was very quiet. And his mom said, Paul, are you bored? What's wrong? He said, I'm not bored, mom, but I'm just thinking. Mike and Mark and Susan all have very important jobs that they do. Mike and Mark are leaders in the youth group and Susan is a leader on her volleyball team. And I just don't have anything important to do. And Miss Shepherd said, Paul, do you remember when you, your friend Ben came to church the first time? Paul said, yes, that was a lot of fun. Mrs. Shepherd said, yes, it sure was. And do you remember what happened the next Sunday? Paul thought for a minute. He said, oh, yes, his family came to church too. And then Mrs. Shepherd said, and yes, and about a month later, all of his whole family decided that they wanted to have Jesus as their best friend. And they invited Jesus into their heart and they became Christians. Do you remember that? Paul said, yes, that was exciting too. And then Mrs. Shepherd said, do you remember who invited Ben to church? Paul said, I invited him. And Mrs. Shepherd said, yes, you did. And because you invited Ben to church, then his whole family 
learned about Jesus and they learned to have Jesus as their best friend. And she said, leading in the youth group is important. Leading on the volleyball team is important. But the most important thing that we can ever do is to help people to learn about Jesus and to ask Jesus to be their best friend. That made Paul smile because he remembered he had done very important work. He had invited his friend to church. Hey, we can do that too, can't we? We can invite our friends to church very soon, I hope. And you know what? Then Paul's mom said, hey, how about let's go and play a game of frog hopper on the computer? Paul said, that sounds great. Bye. I hope to see you soon. I hope you have a great week. And remember that you too can be a big worker for Jesus. Love you. Bye-bye.